What is quantum cryptography? Many of you buy something, send messages, or share files on online instead of offline. In all these situations, your online information is required. Then how do you know your information is safe? Keeping the information safe is very important as computers get smarter and faster. Therefore, translating information into a code for only right person is so crucial. The important property of Cypher is that only right receiver can translate the code using private keys. Let's first look at the basic cryptography system. A plain text which is the message the sender wants to send is encrypted in form of cipher text and sent to the receiver. Receiver can decode it back into plain text using private key. Now we will call sender as Alice, receiver as Bob to make it sound more friendly. Simple example, Kaisar cipher. The Kaisar cipher is one of the earliest known and the simplest cipher. In Kaisar cipher system, each letter in the plain text is shifted a certain number of places down the alphabet. How many alphabets has been shifted will be a secret key. And if Bob shifts the alphabet back using this key, he will now know what Alice wanted to say. Well, that's great. Then why do we need more complicated cipher? That is because as technology gets advanced, the risk of information leakage also increases. So how does the leak of encrypted information happen? It's simple. If an eavesdropper, Eve, can identify a key that can decode a cryptogram, she will also be able to know the plain text. Again, in case of Kaisar's code, Eve can also read the code if she knows how many spaces each letter has moved. The biggest problem is that Alice and Bob do not know if the cryptogram was leaked by Eve or not. How can we fix this problem? Quantum encryption can solve this problem. Let's now go deeper in the basic of quantum encryption. Do you know what a bit is? Bit is the basic unit of information. As a binary digit, the bit represents a logical value having only one of two, zero, or one. It may seem simple, but numerous zeros and ones come together to become information such as images, videos, text, anything. However, in quantum computing, we use the term qubit. Qubit is the basic unit of quantum information. Instead of individual value of 0 or 1, qubit means superposition state of 0 and 1. It's hard to understand, isn't it? Let's just keep in mind that single qubit can either have opportunity to be 0 or 1. And this superposition state cannot be known absolutely before we observed it. This is the basic principle in quantum mechanics called Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. Now we are ready to understand the quantum cryptography. Let's look at the most basic quantum cipher protocol, BB84 protocol. With quantum cryptography, the key is a stream of photons or light particles. Photons have a property called spin, which can be changed when it passes through the filter. You have four filters, vertical, horizontal, and two diagonals. We will lump these into two groups, the rectilinear scheme and the diagonal scheme. Let's see how the direction of photon spin changes as it passes through the filter. To translate photon spin into a key, a photon with horizontal or this diagonal spin means 1 and vertical or this diagonal spin means zero. We will simply notate the direction of photon spin as arrow from now on. Okay, now BB84 protocol starts. Let's assume Ellie sends very simple 8-bit size message. She then randomly selects one of two filters for each qubit. Now, each photon is having particular polarization state depending both on the bit values and selected filters. And these photons are transmitted to Bob through quantum channel.
Bob does not know what filter does Alice chose, so all he can do is to select it randomly. He does this for each photon he received. After the final direction of photons is observed, he communicates with Alice over the public classical channel what filter they have chosen. They both discard photon measurements where Bob used a different filter with Alice, which is half an average. Remaining half will be used as a shared key. Now again, Eve appears. In quantum mechanics, Two unique basic phenomena are null cloning theorem and wave function collapse after measurement. These limit the opportunity to measure a single photon only once. As Eve has no knowledge of the filter used in encoding by Alice, she can only guess just like Bob. If she chooses same filter with Alice, she will measure the correct photon polarization state sent by Alice with 50% of probability. However, even if she chooses it incorrectly, there is still 50% of probability to select the correct bit, 0 or 1. The total probability of accurate transmission is 75%. If the result of transmission is different, Alice and Bob can notice there is an eavesdropper. It seems like we only have 25% chance to catch Eve. However, if Alice and Bob publicly compare n numbers of their key bits, the probability they find disagreement and identify the presence of if is this value. As n gets larger, the probability reaches nearly 1. That means they can detect eavesdropper definitely. To be more clear, now let's compare the results if Eve is present or not. Alice sends a photon signal to Bob just like the previous situation. Bob also selects same randomly chosen filter in both situations. There will now be a difference. If Eve tries to wiretap the message, the final direction of photon spin will be changed by Eve's random filters since the photon can only be measured once. I mentioned before, the key can be obtained by comparing the filters used by Alice and Bob. So let's compare it. In this situation, the key is 0101. However, when Eve interferes, the password which indicates the direction of photons being through the final filter is different. Wow, we caught Eve, the eavesdropper. Now, we will learn about different protocol called E91. This protocol is not completely different from BB84 protocol. Instead of single photon generator, quantum entangled photon generator is used in this protocol. Before explaining the protocol, what does quantum entangled mean? This is the general definition of entanglement, but the important point is entangled Particles cannot be described independently. Therefore, when the state of one particle is observed, we can also know the state of the other immediately. Entanglement itself is an interesting topic, but it will not be deeply discussed in detail in our video. Now, let's start E91 protocol. Alice and Bob select the filter randomly. Then each observes different entangled photons passes through each filter. In this protocol, Alice filter has an axis of 0, pi over 4, pi over 2, and Bob has an axis of pi over 4, pi over 2, 3 pi over 4. After that, similar to BB84 protocol, they shared which filter they used. Alice and Bob will select same filters with 2 over 9 of probability. Let's assume Alice and Bob select their filter like this. Then divide the result into two groups. Photon observes with same filter as group A and with different filter as group B. In group A, since the direction of photon spin is opposite and therefore they are anti-correlate. 
In other words, first group can be used as generated key since those protons are completely anti-aligned between Ellis and Bob. This step is different from BB84. Group B was not used in BB84 protocol, but not in E91. In this protocol, group B is used to calculate the value of correlation functions used in CHSH inequality, one of Bell's inequality. This is summarized equation. You can get more information on another video about Bell's experiment and his inequality. In this protocol, group B is used to calculate S in Bell's inequality. And when this S value becomes minus 2 root 2, group A can finally become a key. If the value of S is not minus 2 root 2, then it means that the photons are not exactly entangled. So we can again notice the existence of yield. In this video, we talk about what is cryptography, basic concept of quantum cryptography, and two quantum key distribution protocol, BB84 and E91. However, since current technologies are not complete enough to enable commercial use of quantized data, more research is needed. It is clear that quantum cryptography, the innovative security technology, will accelerate the development of information and communication technologies. Before we end this video, we hope quantum cryptography to become main subject of encryption someday. Thank you for watching this video.